Hey everyone, welcome back to Style Novice. As adults in a new year, it's often a chance for us to make new financial or saving goals, but it's also a time of year that we can get the kids involved in the same kind of things. Whether it's doing chores around the house to earn some pocket money, or you're just trying to teach your kids the value of a dollar, what better way to get them excited about some jingly coins is having somewhere to put it. So today I'm going to be showing you how to make your very own DIY Piggy bank. Now you can make this easily out of balloon and paper mache, so for the full tutorial, keep watching. To make your DIY piggy bank, you will need one balloon, an empty egg carton, a finished toilet roll, newspaper, PVA and water, a sponge or paintbrush, some tape, some paint glitter, or any other embellishments of your choice, and a pair of scissors. To start, you'll want to cover your work surface with a plastic tablecloth or extra newspaper because it's going to get messy. Next, we blow up our balloon. We are making a pig after all, so bear that in mind in regards to its shape and roundness. With your newspaper, tear or cut medium-sized squares and place these in a bowl to one side within easy reach. And in another container, mix your PVA with water until it forms a milky consistency. Onto your balloon, apply a thin layer of the glue and start placing on your newspaper squares. There's no rhyme or rhythm to this, we're just aiming to have the entire balloon covered at the end of it. For every small section that you cover, go over the top with another layer of glue to stick all the edges down and create a smooth surface. You may want to use your sponge or brush for this, but by the end of it, I just got in there with my hands. Work the paper around the knot end of the balloon. This will become the tail hole later. With the entire balloon covered in paper now, do a final layer of glue across the top surface and place on an open container and allow to fully dry. Once dry, cut your egg carton to create four feet in a snout and tape these into place. Use the existing small pieces of paper you have to paper mache over and around the feet, nose and ears to secure these in place. Then cut larger pieces of paper and continue over the entire pig again. The reason for using a different size or colour of paper is so you can see where you've been and what still needs to be covered in a second layer. Then use the curve of a used toilet paper roll to cut out two pointy pig ears. Do another top coat of glue and leave to fully dry for one to two days until you can knock on the newspaper and it sounds solid and secure. Take your scissors and make a tiny hole just below the knot of the balloon. We don't want to pop it, and as it slowly releases, you'll hear the balloon release from the hard newspaper shell. Then it's time to paint and decorate. With a little girly girl in the house, ours ended up very piggy pink with a bucket load of glitter, and I used some scrap felt fabric to create eyes, a cheeky tongue, and the lining on the ears. The hole created by the balloon knot can be used to stick a curly pipe cleaner or something similar to create a tail. And lastly, once complete, have an adult create the slit at the top for the money to go into. So that is it for today's DIY tutorial. Hope you've enjoyed making your DIY paper mache piggy bank with me today. As always, the step-by-step -step and written instructions can be found on my blog by following the attached links. I'll see you next time. Bye.